offhand. Uh, so Hal Dagger right here. Oh, Looks good like backs. Ah, <laughs> Elden Ring moment. Yeah, just, oh my God, what? this is so Elden hey, Ring, dude. Sick. <laughs> I love it though. I, I, oh. again, when the players are having fun, uh, that's that's always great. That was so. Um, oh but, my god! Say, wow, shield for holy shit! In a mighty fierce way. Oh, shield uh, poke! It, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. There it is. There it is. Oh, insane! The oh. Happening. Tries to go for the. Parry, that was so good. Shit! Wow. All right, we get in finals. Ooh. Bevan oh, on okay. the PSGS. By the way, his name's supposed to be pronounced Bevan, apparently. Even though Bevan himself told me that, fuck him. What would he know? It's Bevan, it's not Bevan. Wait, aren't they both from California? It must be like a great lot between them. In such case, like PSGS is absolutely fantastic. Although, like, Karians, not Karians, Jesus, uh, the codets are very good too. Because remainder that codets um, have no poise limits, whereas PSGS have like 60? Something like that. Essentially, enough for the sake of to be always targeted by, PS, uh, by the uh, PSSS. That being said, oh, the pivot. Unlucky. It honestly looks a little bit better for shield poke, but it might turn around any moment. Oh yeah, that's what we are like. Oh, actually, it was a trade though. Okay, so listen. Here is the thing. Shield. Oh no! Listen. If, if only Bevan. Oh, like here is the thing. The PSSS in this matchup is just easier to execute, but PSGS, especially on the low latency, might just completely obliterate it. Off here. Okay. I wonder oh, if that. it wouldn't be now, good now to just use the running car to attacks on the uh, Karians here and there. Oh my god, the PSGS! Fucking special! No stamina? Oh. Oh, bruh. I have no idea why people uh, fucking dislike right, PSGS. One one. So it, it, like, it, it's it's actually so cool when sides. people Both actually manage to vortex it. properly. But I assume it's just because, like, a lot of gamers literally have no idea how this mechanic works like. So, ultimately, they think someone is just, like, clicking the crouch and, and that's it. PSGS is hard to fight against. I mean, like, in the normal game, honestly, it's not really that hard. Endure, BHS. And here, in the uh, realm of what they are playing, what, what they have here, you, it's also like a PSGS is just so much fucking harder to play than other setups. Like, PSGS has nuking damage, but in exchange for the fact, like, it is not just super easy to play. In comparison to other setups, like, for example, like, PSS, yeah, it powers 10 spears. They basically have the same damage output, like the PSGS, but that much easier to play. Oh shit, good roll, yeah. Good ca oh, nice hit, Bevan. Like, Shieldpoke doing great, though, so far. Oh, good catch. Ah, the spacing on Shieldpoke, insane. Another, oh, good, good jump at once. And great catch. Now... It is still advantage, but at least shield pokes um, physics is proc, yeah? So here is that. Also, like, there is a problem, though. Shield poke might one-shot Bevan with codets right here. Especially, okay, he doesn't utilize the, the ring that increases his damage, but I think if he would right now... He, maybe not, though, cannot this damage. I don't know, it's hard to say. Oh, this fucking catch! Bevan is playing card. Bevan is an amazing competitive player. The way how consistent this man is across fucking two years of Elden Ring competitive right now is just fucking insane. Oh, this backstab, unfortunate. 
a crazy start to this fight. That being oh said, it's God. still like okay. fucking better for Bevan. So, oh, this running attack, right, unfortunate. Oh, the back swing. Let's go. So All right, this is two to one for Bevan. This one must be won by shield poke. Oh, good fucking. Roll by shield poke. Oh, unfortunate. Jump over. He didn't 180. Oh. Look at that. It's looking very good so far for shield poke. Uh-oh. 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 But still very good. Like, uh, it's Bevan lost his flask already. Yeah, this is probably GG. Come on, surprise him with running R2. Do it! Shield poke, running R2. Listen to me, it's important. Very important. Running R2. He's gonna try to fucking do the jump. I like he's going to die because of the anti-air. Come on. Shield, poke. Jump, attack. Jump, attack. Jump, attack. No, not jump, attack. My bad. Running R2. Running R2. Ah, you fucking suck. Shield poke is right now using the talisman that is lowering the damage from the physical, but is that worth it actually? Unless like those are actually the question is what is Bevan's build? Uh, let's look at the damage type that he's dealing. It is it is because he might be using phalanxes, but it might be actually physical build. And not magic. Because yeah, I told like it is intelligence build. Honestly, I don't see the no, it is magic. It's magic damage. So it is intelligence build. Oh good catch. He punished that empty jump. Oh, and he got fucking like a slapped with one code that's here. Bevan again has an uphill battle for the third stock in a row. She'll My magic scorpion ring? I actually didn't realize. Good point. Of most of these X to good, good, good point. Back and forth that you will see, but she'll poke as a slight lead as he lands a nice neutral L1 chasing Bevan to a corner. Bevan does manage to get the blue feather, red feather, brand swords off, manages to find off shield poke a little bit so he can reset and just kind of stand there. Look at that Bevan's hyper mode that he is in currently. Dual freaking feather, the magic scorpion. And yes, passive heal on top of that. He technically can deal around 700-800 damage. So if he would land that one jump attack, it would apply such incredible pressure. Oh, dude, he dealt like 600 damage with that fucking crouch poke, dude. Honestly, I'd like to see a bit more, uh, you know, item usage from these players to create some type of extra Holy pressure. shit. But, I mean, when you are as a oh, that's looking good for shield poke. Let's see if he's going like to keep on the pressure and going to keep the advantage in check. It's going to be a large portion of your health. That is a huge... You know, technically, huge, huge all what he has I mean, to do is to keep on trading have, from now on. But at the same time, it's easier to say... Than actually do such deed. I love how Bevan utilizes the map. Like he actually approached the gamer in the in the way that so he actually cornered him. It's it's actually lovely. Look how Bevan is turning sideways. Oh my god, that's such oh that's so great! And Bevan still has the fucking proc. Not anymore. That being said. Okay, okay. Keep, keep the pressure. Maybe. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's power stance lances we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So the damage output that you have from the side of Bevan. Empty jump. Okay. It's, it's going to be GG. Yeah. Rare non CL1, by the way. Actually, CR1 instead. Dude, decider. Let's see the decider. But yeah, look how Bevan using the phalanxes, he is actually rotating to the side. So if Shieldpoke tries to punish with the jump attack, he's always going to receive hit from two blades. It's such a fucking smart strategy, dude. Like, the way how this gamer is playing is just so fucking smart. 
Control catch. Very nice pressure. Lovely wave dash. Notice, guys, how Beven actually never attempted jump L1 yet. The moment he's going to try to, to use one, it's gonna be probably like a, such a surprising in the timing of it all for shield poke. It's gonna be very interesting. Like, And look, to the side, immediately. Three, four... And almost the roll catch. Dude, if that would be the roll catch, that would be perfect. All right, anyway. Oh, jump R1. Roll catch. 820 to 840 HP. Bevan has advantage, but this is such mini school hour. It's, it actually doesn't matter. Look at this absolutely fantastic jump R1. Hmm. So here is the thing about jump L1. It is dangerous to do, of course, because it can be punished, but it also can be rotated. Oh, the jump over! That was great! Holy shit, Bevan, such a play! Okay, okay, listen. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. <gasps> oh my god, holy shit! And now we are going onto actual finals because shield poke came from the losers bracket now they are going to have actual finals finals it's gonna be another bo7 the winner of that one is going to win entire tournament and holy shit like if shield poke is going to sustain and win it's gonna be fucking amazing like it's gonna be unbelievable you know i had that dark souls 3 tournament that i have won where i fa where i have played like a four or five matches in the row and i think four it was so incredibly tiring so i know how it feels like it is really fucking exhausting thing to do to play that many matches in the row yet again shield poke how many matches like it's gonna be sixth match in the row dude elden ring combat is deeper than dark souls 3 and i will not be convinced otherwise i mean it's deeper by default. The amount of the fundamental mechanics that you have in the in the game in comparison to, to Dark Souls 3 is just like so much richer. Just the addition of the jump attacks and crouch just make the combat more rich. It's just, you know, it's sadly the damage curve is kind of dog shit, which... The fact like the combat is richer, it, it doesn't exactly mean it's more like a skill based, let's call it that way. It's still like uh, the skill expression of uh, Dark Souls 3 is more than, than what we have in Elden Ring, I would say. Especially outside of the tournament circuit. Because, yeah, like, uh, yet again, what we are currently watching and the actual game of Elden Ring with tools like Endure, B BHS, Quickstep, uh, Raptors, uh, uh, Dragon Heads, uh, and uh, all the other bullshit is just, yeah, it's, it's something completely else. Like, the, the game fundamentally loses a lot from these additional mechanics and their utilization just because of the existence of shit tons of cheese. Oh, good jump attack by Shieldpoke. Like, Shieldpoke is still rocking, dude. It's insane. Like, he has fucking willpower to do it. Bevan is not utilizing the neutral jumps. It's kind of always like kind of 50 50, but it's. I, I would say, like, doing them from time to time could be very, very good. Well, that being said, it is looking very fucking good for um, shield poking. Not anymore, holy shit! <laughs> the hyper mode, dude! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, bodied, dude. But, like, what we also can see in uh, Bevan's uh, playstyle is that he is trying to minimize risks as much as possible, which is, well, it's working. Like, that's why he's so fucking good at this video game. 611 damage, by the way, the final blow. Insane. Come on. Oh, nice roll catch, Bevan. Well played. That being said, this round must go to shield poke, obviously. So we have, like... Uh, or differently. You know what has to happen? Bevan have to win two another rounds. And then 
Shield poke have to win three rounds in the row, and then we are going to have insane decider. There's trade there. No tear pog just oh that's a beautiful roll catch. Look at the moving to the side immediately. And roll catch fucking great. Oh good roll on shield poke. Risky as fuck, but actually worked. Nice. Insane timing, dude. I like how shield poke is actually changing the timings of the rolls. Because, yeah, you cannot really... So, here is the thing about PSGS. You are not reaction rolling it. Especially when it's well blended, yeah? So, yeah. What Shilpok is doing, he's not reaction rolling. Instead, he is changing the timings of the, like, double rolls. For the sake of to avoid the, the roll catch. Sometimes works, sometimes not. But it seems to be very effective so far. Oh, the bad swing! Oh, nice shield poke, insane! Let's go! Nice fucking hit by Bevan. Because of that shield poke hit with only one sword. Uh, oh, the back swing again! Look at that! Come on, Bevan, give us one jumping L1 here. Like, take the risk. I feel like here, for example, was perfect moment to actually do that. Oh, the running attack! Oh, mega lul! Oh, and the catch with fucking L2! Oh, <laughs> let's go! Oh, and pivot, holy shit. It is not the best round for Bevan, but hey. Maybe... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, holy shit. Fucking Shield Poke is trolling, dude. Yeah, how, exactly. How is he getting away with this? It's actually he's losing, though, because of that fucking troll, dude. Yeah, <laughs> how is he getting away? Oh my god, and the neutral jump, you see, my man, you have to do that. Exactly that. Oh my god. Come on. Is on the back foot, oh my fucking god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm losing brain cells. Oh my god, this is such a shittery, dude. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I lost all the brain cells in that round. I can't. Due to one for shield poke. I am... Like, the performance of shield poke... After such a long fucking time of playing, dude, I, I am just impressed. I, I cannot. I just cannot not be impressed. But right now, I think, like, honestly, maybe he's hungry at this point because he ate all of that. Every single phalanx omnomed fucking straight away, dude. What the fuck is going on? Both players right now. There's a beautiful L1 roll catch, beautiful read on the side of Shield Poke, but there's another trade there. And so now, like, Bevan is actually predicting the bug swing. You see, the uh, he's essentially ready for the bug swing. Neutral jump, maybe. But yeah, like, Bevan is slowly adapting to these bug swings that Shield Poke is clearly like utilizing recently more and more. So yeah, it's uh, those are those small things when you are playing. I, I can tell you as a tournament participant, at some point, like some things just stop working against your opponent. Oh, it, oh, if that would out space, it would be great. All right, let's see. But yeah, like here is the thing. Sometimes you just cannot, like you know, some sometimes some things working against certain players and they don't against others, and you need to mix things around. And this is exactly what's happening here. Oh, oh my god, dude, that was just... That was just a matter of few frames, dude. Holy shit. Bevan was so fucking lucky here that he won that straight. Insane. Oh, <gasps> reset! No shot! Uh, with little health, maybe those little consumables might actually, uh, maybe maybe they might make all the difference. Doesn't land any though, but both players are jumping into it right now. We have the the first hit coming from the side of Bevan, and uh, sorry, Shield Poke getting it on Bevan, but 
Bevan does get a nice jumping R1, crouched L1, goes for the uh, reverse players, just just, yeah. just funneling all of their power into one tiny little microsecond. Um, right now, we have Shield Poke, who is at a bit of a health deficit right now. And that would make sense for the script. Uh, Bevan needs to win this one for the script to be true. And uh, <laughs> so we have, okay, never mind. Shield Poke is saying, I am the one who writes the script, and I am winning right now. Okay, okay never mind. Oh my god, the double hit. The side of Bevan. Bevan is down in health right well, now. Bevan had advantage until this moment. Not anymore. That is big for the side of Bevan. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, it might change fast, honestly, so yeah. Bevan on the mouse and keyboard, I assume? I actually have no idea. I never asked. I think he's playing on controller, though. I have no idea. Oh, dude, the rare fucking running at a crawl catch. Alright, let's see. Is Bevan going to actually reverse sweep? Or maybe shield poke is legitimately going to win entire tourney? It would be fucking insane after so many fights in the row to actually win. It would be so incredibly deserved. Oh? Wait, is Bevan actually utilizing defensive talisman now instead of like more damage? He has everything set up. The pieces are all exactly where they need to be on the board for him. If he can just hold it out and clutch this final Yeah, it seems like it's actually the case. It's it's not Mr. Swap or anything. It's that legitimately what he intended to do or vortexing around. Swaddling cloth as is shield poke. That's almost crucial for these builds, especially if you're running coded. God damn it. Oh my god, this fucking pokey pokey gaming. Not in the meaning of the attack type, but just low damage hits just chipping the guy down. In fucking insane, dude. Oh, Alter, okay, guys, we can just go home because Alter in chat just rooted for shield poke. He's going to lose it. Oh, oh, holy shit. If he is going to turn it around. Oh. Congratulations. Shield poke is a fucking legend.